efforts to unite community members with law enforcement in Erie about to take another step forward. Chelsea Withers now with a look at how one group is looking to strengthen that relationship. Chelsea. Good evening, Jill. A group of about 30 people, all with different occupations, have formed together to help unify the city. The SPCP, which stands for Strengthening Police and Community Partnerships, is a group looking to build trust. Let's talk about how we can make things better from both sides. Uh, of course, it's not a one-way street. It's not that the police need to do things better so that the community will trust them. The community also, ha also has to step up. According to Michael Outlaw, a leader of the SPCP, the idea for this came after a conversation sparked by the Montrees Bolden case. Bolden's arrest by Erie Police in June 2016 prompted accusations of excessive force. That had like a level of civil disobedience in a community. So we, we decided to sit down and have a conversation and, get, and begin to talk about our differences and how we can uh, begin to have open, honest, transparent dialogue and move forward. It's not just law enforcement or committee members that are on board with this effort. Any effort to strengthen police and community relations is an effort worth undertaking. Although Horton agrees with the initiative, he also thinks if residents are making efforts, the city needs to also work for what the community wants. Like community benefit agreements, like a community college that provides scholarship opportunities and focuses on hiring local people. The SPCP will hold their first community event this weekend in the neighborhood of 7th and Wallace. It's going to be a community cleanup where community members knock on the door to talk to citizens about what they would like to see. Jill. Okay, Chelsea Withers, thank you.